The US Open is right around the corner, and I think it's about damn time an American wins this event. You see, it's been over 20 years since Andy Roddick brought it home for the USA back in 2003. And I think it's fairly clear that I'm strictly talking about the men's side of this. And if there's any man in the world right now that can get the job done for the United States, it's Francis Tiafo, who has been playing in Grand Slam tournaments since he was 16 years old. For the last decade, Francis Tiafo has been at the top of the tennis game. And it makes sense that the best Grand Slam he performs at is the US Open. And every year, it feels like he's getting closer and closer to winning his first ever Grand Slam. And it's probably gonna come in the following weeks at the 2024 US Open. All signs point to Tiafo being in his prime. He's 26 years old, his game only continues to get better. And it feels like now that the era of the big three is over with, the floodgates have opened up for just about anybody to win it. I mean, we saw Yannick Sinner take home the Australian Open at the beginning of this year. And then Carlos Alcaraz followed that up with winning the French Open and Wimbledon. It has been almost a full calendar year since one of the big three won a Grand Slam. Times are changing. And it only makes sense that this youth movement who have been developing in the background for a good amount of time now, that it's their time to shine. And one major piece of this youth movement is Francis Tiafo. Now in this video, I will be focusing on Francis Tiafo's performances in the last two US Opens, because that's really what put his name on the map, especially in the American media. Now in the 2022 US Open, Tiafo had a lot of firsts. I mean, he was the first American-born player to reach the semis at the US Open since Roddick did it in 2006, and the first African-American man to reach the semis since Arthur Ashe in 1972. Of course, what Tiafo was doing was amazing, and the run he had in 2022 was the best he's ever had. I mean, of course, he made it to the semis and would eventually lose, but in his first round matchup against fellow American Marcus Giron, well, it was a tough one, especially the first set, which went back and forth, but eventually, Tiafo was able to squeak out of it. And then the next two sets were pretty smooth sailing for him. That would bring us to a second round matchup against the Aussie, Jason Kubler. And in this match, well, it could have easily gone either way in every set. However, Tiafo wouldn't drop a single one, which took us to the third round, where he would go up against 14th ranked Argentinian, Diego Schwartzman, who was one of the best in the world. And he took Tiafo to the wire. But did Tiafo drop a single set? No. And now we're in the fourth round. Tiafo hasn't dropped a set the entire tournament, and he's going up against Rafael Nadal, who was on top of the world in 2022. He had previously won two Grand Slams that same year. He wouldn't know it, but those would probably be the last Grand Slams that Nadal would win in his career. And in this fourth round matchup, well, while Francis Tiafo did take the first set pretty convincingly, Nadal stole the second and it was tough. Nobody really believed that Tiafo was gonna pull off the upset, except maybe a few biased American fans. And those biased American fans were absolutely correct because Tiafo would not only win the third set, but dominated in the fourth set and set Nadal packing, basically putting a nice little close in his career. And before we continue on with talking about Tiafo and his potential US Open runs, I wanna remind you to slow down, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers and every subscription is greatly appreciated. All right, now let's get back to talking about Tiafo in the US Opens. And now we're nearing the end of the bracket where Tiafo finds himself in the quarterfinals against Andre Rublev. And if you watch any tennis at all, you know the name. Andre Rublev is a legend. And Tiafo had quick work of him, packed him up in three sets, didn't drop one. And you know, the last set was his best set by far. And that, of course, puts us in the semifinals match against Carlos Alcaraz. Carlos Alcaraz was a rising star at the end of 2022, and he really began to shine in this tournament. And Tiafo learned that the hard way. Of course, Tiafo did win the first set, got all of the American crowd hype, 
everybody was behind him. We are now in the semis. He is the last American standing, and he could be the first one to get the job done since Roddick. Everybody was wishing for a Tiafo win here, and Carlos Alcaraz didn't let that happen. It went to five sets, some of the best tennis you will ever see. If you haven't seen it, I'm telling you right now, go watch this match against Carlos Alcaraz and Francis Tiafo in the 2022 US Open. It is one to remember. But it would go Alcaraz's way, and of course, Alcaraz would reach the final against Casper Rudd, a legend who is most known for losing finals all the time. And this would be the first of many for Carlos Alcaraz, as this was the first time he ever won a Grand Slam tournament. Had it gone Tiafo's way, who knows? Maybe Tiafo would be sitting at four Grand Slam titles currently. We'll never know, but that does bring us into the 2023 US Open, where he's riding the high of the previous year. Now, the first few rounds for Tiafo were pretty light. He made work of whatever competition was in his way. It wouldn't really get dicey for him until the third round, where he went up against Manorino, who was ranked 22nd at the time. And you have to remember, Francis Tiafo is a top 10 player in the world in tennis during the 2023 US Open. That's how great he was. And he showed it in his match against Manorino because Manorino took him nearly the distance. They went four sets after Manorino won the first, but of course, Tiafo would go on to win the second, the third, and the very exciting fourth set. And, you know, of course, he'd have to go up against Hijikata right after that, another tough opponent for him, but Tiafo was not gonna let anybody get in his way, at least stop him from making the quarterfinals, which is exactly what happened. Tiafo did find himself in the quarterfinals of the 2023 US Open. Though, it wasn't a storybook ending for him, as he would have to go up against fellow American, Ben Shelton, who is a bit younger. He's currently 21 years old, has been on the scene since 2021, and is a 6'4 giant out of Gainesville, Florida. I do think Ben Shelton will be amazing and will carry on the legacy that the Americans before him made. However, to do so, he would have to go up against his fellow friend, Tiafo in the quarterfinals of the 2023 US Open. And this is where Tiafo's run would end. You see, Tiafo and both Shelton went back and forth. It was quite a match, maybe not the best match of Tiafo's career, as Shelton took care of him in four sets. Tiafo did steal the second set, but besides that, it was all Shelton. And that meant that Shelton would reach the semifinals match uh, against Djokovic, but that's where his run would end, as he too would lose to Djokovic. And that's about it for Tiafo. That brings us to present day, where it feels like Tiafo is destined to make his first Grand Slam Finals appearance right here, right now. Of course, he does have a first round matchup against fellow American, Kova Sebovic. And right now, Tiafo is ranked 20th. I know he's been better in previous years. However, the lineup for Tiafo in these next couple of matches, at least the players he's set to go up against, shouldn't be too much of a challenge for him until he gets further down the road. And like I said, some of his hardest competition is either dealing with injury or is heading towards retirement. So it's now or never for Francis Tiafo. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Catch y'all later. Much love. Deuces.